For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Kelly Schultz. Joining me from the BSU softball team is Michaela Osterman, a senior catcher out of Sierra Vista, Arizona. And uh, first of all, you are headed somewhere warm for spring break. How excited are you to head to Florida? I'm super excited. I'm ready for that warm weather. Yeah, you get used to this cold stuff, but I really need that sunshine right now. (laughs) You're a catcher. Obviously, you've seen some great pitching out of Jess Yost uh, so far this season, her second NSIC Pitcher of the Week award back-to-back weeks. Uh, What has been the difference for her that you've noticed as a catcher? I think she's going in this year with a lot more confidence in herself and her abilities, and she knows that she's able to compete with these awesome batters in our conference, and I think that really helps. And the pitching coach that we have this year also helps, which we didn't have last year, so Nicole is doing a great job with that. I know Jess wouldn't give up her secret pitch, so we'll leave it at that. But uh, for you, how much of an adjustment have you had to make as a catcher? I had to make some adjustments. You got to, if they're working so hard at throwing those strikes, I got to, as a catcher, be able to catch them in the first place and be prepared to for anything that will come my way. So I just got to be a little bit more on my toes this year. <laughs> well, how closely do the catchers work with pitchers outside of a game situation? We work with our pitching staff every single day, mostly. Pitchers pitch every day, and we're there to catch. And we'll usually switch off pitchers so we get a chance to see everybody. You mentioned Nicole Sider. She's one of your assistant coaches. Um, She has a pitching background, but how much has she worked with your pitchers and catchers so far early this season? She's worked with us pretty significantly. She will... At the beginning of the season, we had pitching strictly pitching workouts that she created to help increase velocity, spins, all that good stuff. And she also helps get them in that mentality of confidence and positivity, which is good. So important. Um, Your team's headed to Florida for spring break. What are some of the things that your team needs to work on while you're down there? Um, We need to, like, work on communication. That's always a big one that needs to be emphasized and also just cleaning up the little things like fielding errors making sure the throw is spot on just that kind of stuff because our bats and pitching are there so this is the first year that we have like the everything working together we just need to clean up the little things sounds like your team's got the whole package this year for sure for you personally what kind of uh, goals or things did you come into the season knowing that you needed to do for me, coming like for batting, I, my goal this year was not being an easy out because I feel like in years past I always was kind of always iffy, not confident. So this year I changed that and just being confident, knowing that I can do it and just kicking some butt, <laughs> basically. <laughs> While your team's in Florida, how much downtime will you have to be able to enjoy if any kind of sunshine or Florida stuff? <laughs> We have games every single day, two games each day, so not much. <laughs> At least you'll have a break from school. Yes, that, that is true. Get to experience, go somewhere else, which is nice. So how soon do you pack the sunscreen? Is it already packed? Oh, the sunscreen's already packed in the aloe. Got it. <laughs> no, I'll burn that first day. <laughs> well, enjoy that sunshine and that warm weather. Good luck, Michaela. Thank you.